greatest role of success. What does, you know, you know, almost apply to everybody, every situation. The most important and the first rule of success is to set your goals. Uh, you know, to know what, what is your aim? What do you want to achieve? Um, you know, if you don't know where, where you are going, any road will take you there. So it doesn't matter. So that's why you have to make sure that you know uh, what you want to achieve. And then these are very quickly the steps that you, you know you have to take to build a successful career. First of all, you set your goal. Then you develop a career plan. And then enlist the needed support. And then acquire the, the needed skills. And then assess your progress periodically and adjust course accordingly. These are the, so these are the basically the broad roadmap for uh, successful career development. When you are formulating the, the roadmap, um, you have to be as concrete and as clear as possible. You have to have clear vision. You have to be uh, aware that you, know, you may have to roll with the bunches and adapt you know, to the situation because the wind may blow um, against the sailor's wishes. The end does not justify the means. Please be civilized. You are responsible for what you can do you may not have the control over the result. So that will give you a peace of mind. Do not have to punish yourself hard when things doesn't work you, you, the way you are expecting and so on. Just, you know, you have to, you know, to uh, say, okay, I've done my best in this regard. Let's see how I can do it differently or if I need to do it or do something else different. That's bringing uh, bring us to the SMART goals. You know, we all know what is a SMART goal. This is where it publicized. The goals has to be specific, measurable, attainable, and relevant and time bound. So this is the SMART goals. I added into it two things, uh, you know, and that's the ER, smarter goals. The ER, it should be enjoyable, enjoyable. You know, you, you should, by the way, it's very critical to know that you should enjoy the journey. Very critical because the enjoyment of achieving the goal is short lived. So, you know, you want to achieve a certificate. When you get the certificate, you celebrate for, for a week and two, and, and then that's it. Uh, but, you know, you should, enjoy the road to getting that certificate and it should be revisable mean you can scale up you know because sometimes the opportunity may open up to you bigger than you expected in the beginning you take a, you take a advantage of that you may have to scale down or adjust course so this is not a train track this is you know something if, if you feel that you are in the wrong uh, uh, wrong train you better get off in the nearest station and switch you, the, acquiring the skills is very critical. So when you know what you want to achieve, you have to determine what are your skill, the skills you need and, and try to work on develop, developing them. There are different kinds of skills. So for example, everybody needs communication skills, self-preservation skills that everybody, irrespective of what your career position and so on. But there are specific uh, skills, you know, the clinician has to have certain skills based on his expertise. Uh, you have to have research skills if you are interested in doing certain research and so on. I, I cannot overemphasize, you know, this self-preserving skills and well-being because now the burnout, you know, we all know about, you know, how common is the burnout. And if you are collapsing, you cannot build anything, you know, significant. So, you know, there are, there are different things, stress management, prevention and management of burnout, time management, anger management, enhancing self-care and self-esteem, effective communication skills does improve your self-image and self-acceptance uh, um, you know, uh, and so on. And dealing with loss, especially in oncology, we have you know, to accept and, and deal with the loss uh, uh, in, in a much more uh, practical way because of the nature of um, the disease we are treating. So verbal communication, communication, different things. There's written communication and verbal communication. I'm not going to spend time on that. On that. So each, each one of them has different skills and you have to train. Um, there are different uh, skills also for leadership, managerial skills, leadership skills. Managerial is, you know, that uh, running things in a smooth way, day to day. The leadership skill may take it to a strategic level, thinking uh, outside the box, engaging people more in different ways and so on. Um, of course, you have to have a specialty knowledge and skills. So, so um, you, you know, bottom line, you know, you have to have enough good, up-to-date, adequate thing to manage your patient. Now, there are two things I think it's very essential uh, for, 
for people working in healthcare and oncology is on top of that, is for a clinician, you have to understand guidelines and how to adapt them. We adapt guidelines for every single patient we, we see in the clinic, by the way. And if you are going to have any leadership position, you have to know uh, healthcare, delivery, healthcare delivery sciences. You have to know the quality and safety. Uh, that's, the way, that's the way of the future. So research skills, you know, there are different uh, research skills. I'm not going to spend time on, on that, but it depends on what are the opportunities available for you. Um, and there are other skills, you know, if you are, uh, you know, procedure oriented, you have to learn the procedures. If you are lab based, you know, a person you have to learn how to do specific experiments and so on. Now, enlisting the help of others, you know, family, friends and colleagues, um, friends, you know, outside, you know, your, uh, your system, healthcare system and within your healthcare system and, and the colleagues within your healthcare system. Uh, within your institution and outside your institution. I'll mention that briefly. Then, then mentors and then other collaborators. 